Hello everyone, I'm Keith and today I'm going to explain why these GMT 900 07 and a half to 14 6 liter 2500 HD and 3500 trucks might be the best bang for the buck on the market. These trucks are considered GMT 900. That's GM Truck 900. The previous generation, the Cat Eye uh, 9906 or GMT 800. And this is just the, the next generation. Um, and when, what I've found in this crazy 2021 COVID times market is uh, these might be the best bang for the buck if you're looking for you know, a, a heavier duty truck and uh, don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, I found this one local on Facebook Marketplace after I just sold my 03 2500. Um, and I kind of took a chance on it. I've never had one before. This has 212,000 miles on it. I bought it with 208. Um, just to see, you know, uh, what's what's this all about? And I gotta tell you, I don't hate them. Um, the worst thing about this truck probably is that it gets 10 miles of the gallon, pretty much no matter what. Sometimes it'll do a little better, but it's it's pretty rare. Um, after having four or five 99 to 06 trucks. I had an LBZ, I had a just a 2500 non-HD with the uh, 6 liter and a 4L80. Um, you know, I've, I've been through the GMT 800s and they're fine, they're good trucks. But this is, it's improved in almost every way. A lot of people think that they're ugly and I gotta say I kind of agree, but um, I paid $9,500 for this truck. It has an L96 6 liter. So that's a iron block 6 liter with basically LS3 heads. So it makes really good power. Um, it has the 6L90 transmission, which is one of the best transmissions GM has, has put in a truck. Um, they ride better. Than the previous ones because they have it's the same frame from 01 to 10 on these HD trucks but they ride better because they have hydraulic cab mounts they're hydraulically bushed um, so that's, that's pretty cool I think the interior in these trucks is much nicer it's some people say it's lower quality but you're making it sound like the older trucks the 99 to 06 trucks have a really nice interior and they just don't it's nothing special um, these have this extra little cubby hole which is cool they come with a much better flip down console than the, the previous generation ever thought about having I've put these in a couple trucks older trucks because I like them so much 
the seats are more comfortable um you put an apple carplay head unit in this like like i did and it's it's like having a modern truck um yeah, I've had to replace window switches. They, they go out pretty commonly on these. Other than that, it's been a pretty good truck. Um, you know, it's just hard on gas. But they're reliable. They tow great. So much better than the 4-speed auto 4L80 trucks. Um, yeah. I, I guess let's go for a drive. Hey, look at that service tire monitor system won't see that on a GMT 800 washer fluid low that might do that service airbag blah 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 okay there we go trans temp trailer gain oh yeah this truck has an integrated brake controller which is not available in those older trucks um, older trucks like a compass and oil life sometimes if you had the nice one uh, this truck has a remote start which is pretty cool 212,000 miles on it um, for you know a $9,500 three quarter ton truck to have a remote start that's pretty neat I like to keep my trans temp up um, you know just kind of one of those things uh, yeah I guess what I'm trying to say is I really like these uh, GMT 900 trucks for what they are um, I don't think they look that great I'm gonna plug my phone in here and you know just show you how I'm not a peasant because I have CarPlay. Um, uh, of course, there are trucks that are better. I'm not gonna deny that. Um, but these can be pretty good if you're just looking for a, a cheap, reliable uh, tow rig that's not gonna take a whole bunch of maintenance and. And this, that, and the other. The only thing you have to do to this thing is try to keep the gas tank full. It's hard on gas and it has a 36 gallon tank. So it's expensive when you fill up and you do it often. Um, it's usually around $100 if, if 87, you know, regular gas is like, uh, you know, $3 a gallon or close to it. You're going to spend $100 when you fill this up and you're going to get. I don't know 300 400 miles out of a tank which is not great but it's also not terrible but they're they're very quiet the 6L90 shifts very smooth they last a lot longer than the 6L80s I don't really know the science of why that is the 6L80s in the half ton trucks just you know that they, they have issues um, I think it's related to the torque converter clutch, but I'm no genius. The 6L90s seem to be pretty pretty good. And honestly, if the older trucks, you just had a six-speed automatic, that'd make a huge difference. I've driven an 8.1 uh, older truck with a six-speed Allison. It was really nice. And I've, you know, I had a Duramax with the six-speed Allison, and it was super nice. Um, you know, pulling a I, I have trucks for one of the big reasons I have a three-quarter ton truck and always had I've never owned a half ton truck um, I tow a trailer that often has a car on it um, about half the time if my truck leaves the house there's a trailer behind it and I'm probably driving an hour to wherever I'm going and it's on the parkway and, and uh, you know if it was just local around town stuff that I'll ever only ever did I probably I probably would have a uh, a half ton truck because they are cheaper they're easier on gas they're easier to find um, they're easier to find with a lot of options all that kind of stuff um, you know I like that about them but when you're towing a lot it's just if you can get a cheap gasser three-quarter ton it's a pretty good way to go um, you know you're not gonna wear a three-quarter ton truck out hauling a single car trailer you're just not gonna have a lot of problems because that's 
they're designed for a lot more than that. Um, and I'm, I guess, I'm just taking a quick trip to the dump. Uh, you know, getting two birds stoned at once. It's a comfortable truck. There's plenty of room. Of course, you can get a crew cab, but but I, I think these are the best value in gas, three quarter and one ton pickup trucks right now. If you get a truck with a 4L80, yes, they're strong. Um, they, sh they have a good shift quality, all that stuff. But if it has a 4L80, it probably has uh, a six liter and there's just not there's not enough gears so third gear in a 4l80 is one to one and this 6l90 that's fourth gear so there's two overdrives past that and then in the 4l80 there's just fourth gear is overdrive so like when you're driving in this truck with a car trailer on it not even that heavy I, I have kind of a heavy car trailer but i don't put heavy cars on it typically so i've maybe maybe got five thousand pounds behind the truck um now i like to set the cruise at about i don't know 70 on the parkway um and in my older my 4l80 truck it was a 373 rear gear six liter 4l80 non-hd 2500 so you know that that is basically a heavy half ton with a six liter and 4l80 if i try to just maintain 70 um with a pretty much stock size tire with 5,000 pounds behind the truck it would shift down into third if we even saw a hill and then if you got on a hill and and you know you've already shifted down to third from you know 2000 to i don't know like 3200 or something which isn't a big deal it's an ls like it'll it'll rev but uh then you get going up the hill and you start really losing speed and it jumps down to second gear at you know 65 to 70 miles an hour so now all of a sudden it's turning over 5000 rpm which still you know it's it's not actually that big of a deal for an ls you know they can do 5,000, but it's not a comfortable towing experience it's, it gets real loud real quick um everything kind of gets shock loaded um and it's it's just not what you want it's not a comfortable towing experience especially on long trips when that's happening a lot short trips yeah, yeah sure i could deal with that um but with this with this 6L90 truck, which has it's basically the same engine, it's got little better heads on it, so it makes a little more power. Um, you don't have that problem. You just don't, because you're you're cruising along in sixth gear at 70 at like 1800 RPM or something. You know, if and if if there's a little bit of an incline or strong headwind or something, uh, you might see. You might see it jump down into fifth gear. Okay, you, you've only gone up like 300 RPM, so you're 2300 or so. And there's enough torque there that it usually, that's all it needs to do. But way every now and then, if there's a big hill or a really hard headwind or something like that, it'll shift down to fourth gear, which isn't a big deal. It's like 3200, kind of like the 4L80 going from fourth gear to third gear because you're just going down to one to one and, and I've never had it downshift further than uh, fourth gear when, when I'm you know just trying to maintain speed and that kind of stuff so uh, big advantages there and honestly the trucks are kind of the same price it seems like people don't like these uh, this body style truck as much and like I get it they are kind of ugly I think the cat eye trucks look much better but uh, and I, maybe the cat eye trucks are a little more comfortable interior wise. They got plushy seats, but uh, it's, these are not bad. They're, they're not bad at all. Um, and I'm actually, I'm selling this truck today because uh, you know, crazy COVID times. I got this thing cheap. I got it for $9,500 and it was in rough shape. It needed a set of tires. It was very dirty. Um, 
and I, I, I threw a set of tires on it, put a bed cover on it, put this radio in it, um, and I had it professionally detailed. And I'm selling it today for, I've already agreed on a price of $14,500. Which uh, still isn't bad for a, you know, a good, dependable, heavy duty truck. But, uh, you know, I figure I'll take advantage of the pricing and I guess you'll see what's next. If you have any questions about trucks like these, let me know. Um, until next time. I guess I'm at the dump, so I'm gonna take a dump. <laughs>